Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. Today, we are kicking the Christmas season off with a Christmas Decorate With Me video. I always love starting off in the kitchen with a beautiful Christmas candle. I have my nest candle, which is a bit of a splurge, but it lasts so long. This is my second candle that I've purchased from them, and I just have it on this beautiful Christmas candle ring wreath, as well as this beautiful wood pedestal from Itsu Home. I love styling with that piece. You can use it for cookies, you could use it for decorating, just the possibilities are endless, but my favorite area to have this is in my kitchen area. Now here on my dining room table, I have my Christmas staple pieces, the pieces that I just love so very much and plan on using time after time. And something new that I actually added last year were these pretty and polka dot. They are actually Christmas ornaments. And I think it's such a neat idea to put these above stockings. And my kids ended up after I filmed this video using them all on the Christmas tree. That is okay, but these are the decor pieces we are working with. Last year, we actually had our house listed for sale. And so you guys will be seeing a lot of new Christmas decor, just like you guys got to see new fall decor because I actually went through all of my home decor and decluttered most of it. I actually only have two buckets of Christmas decor, one of them being all my sentimental Christmas ornaments. We do a tree that is like a sentimental tree for our family and I don't actually know if I'm going to do like a very professional tree this year. I think I might just end up sticking to our fun festive family tree and I hope that can inspire you guys to have a home that is homey for your family and I'm sure down the line in years to come I will do a really fancy Christmas tree but just now in my time of life that is what I would like to do. Now I have these beautiful vintage stockings right here. These are so, so adorable. I just wanted to see how it looked here and I ended up not liking it. So I ended up moving it to my black hutch, which you guys will see a little bit later. And I have these beautiful white large knitted stockings. I bought these off of a small shop on Etsy um, last week. I think it was September. I ordered them very, very early because I had my eye on them for a really, really long time. They were very expensive, probably my most expensive purchase for Christmas I've ever made, but I really, really love the way these look. I ended up buying two that were knitted in a certain style and the other two knitted in a different style as well. And I did this because first of all, I couldn't make up my mind, but also because I thought if I have all four of those together, it would just kind of give it a fun and different look. Now I'm adding my garland. I actually bought this off of Amazon last year as well. It's a real touch one and I highly recommend it. It's from the brand. I think it's called a floral or a floral. And I've heard a lot of people now talking about it this year. Um, and I highly recommend it as well. I think it's such a great garland. I have two of them and I actually probably need to get a third one as well to fill in all of those empty spots. Now our couch was getting pretty grungy, so I decided to 
wash everything and get it nice. We have family coming in tomorrow and with bringing in new home decor and kind of taking out all the fall things, I thought this was the perfect time to refresh the sofa and make it feel good and new. And I also had gotten some new laundry detergent from the container store. My husband and I went a few weeks back and I got this really, really neat line. I'll link it down below, but at the container store, they have this brand that sells, um, the outside of it I know says steel across it, but I got a new laundry basket that fits perfectly in our bathroom. We have a very narrow, um, closet where we put our towels and it fits narrow right in there. And the brand had this cool laundry detergent that smelled amazing and they also had some glass cleaner so I know it's so bizarre as an adult to get excited about laundry stuff but it really excites me now here I found the perfect spot for these beautiful vintage stockings I think this looks so so darling right here and kind of adds that warm and inviting look to our front entry space watched my pre Christmas home decor haul I shared a few new Christmas pieces one of them being this Christmas tree doble I think this looks so cute right here I know there is a lot of wood elements going on in this space which I am now realizing after filming this I think I need some more maybe metal accents maybe even like a woven texture to this area um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'm no decorating expert. I just love sharing my home with you all and bringing inspiration with decorating, home tours, and DIYs. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. officially bringing out the Christmas tree and I have had this for three or four years now. I absolutely love it. It's from King of Christmas and I'm hoping one day to be able to get the spruce tree that ah, it just looks like a natural beautiful tree. So I hope I can add that to my collection one day, but I'm so grateful and happy for this Christmas tree. It has lasted so long. No light bulb has gone out really really happy with it but this is a six foot tree so I'm hoping one day to maybe get something a little bit taller at the smallest point of our ceiling is nine feet and I believe it goes all the way up to 18 feet at the peak of our ceiling and so having something a little bit taller I think would look so grand and so beautiful in this space let me know what you guys think do you think six foot is the perfect size for our room or do you think it'd be cool to go higher Now, while we are chit-chatting away, I would love to know what you guys are looking forward to seeing for this Christmas 2022 season. I have Christmas Decorate With Me's planned, as well as a few DIYs, and a lot of Christmas tours, you guys. If you are needing any inspiration for your home for the Christmas season, I seriously have you covered because there are so many amazing and talented ladies apart and I am still reaching out to more people. I got way more tours than I even planned and I'm going to keep going for it because I know how much you guys love it. I love watching them and I feel like it is a win-win for everybody. So let me know if there's any other types of videos you guys would like to see on our channel so I can make sure to plan those accordingly and share those with you all. I am 
so excited to share with you all how I decorate this tree for our family for this Christmas season. I hope you guys absolutely love today's video and I will see you guys in our next Christmas Decorate with me. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.